Scott Sanji has been confined to a wheelchair since he was 20, but he hasn't let that cramp his style. The first corporate wheelchair I got, I had to do something to make it more individualized to suit me. Inspired by the decked out street bikes he'd seen on TV, Sanji had the idea to soup up his own ride. Our own Susan Rosegen met Sanji before Hurricane Katrina working with local bike builder Ivy Trosclair, whose custom rides have been featured on national TV. He believed in us way back when, and uh, I believe in him. Susie followed the pair and their progress until the storm wiped out Trosclair's business. The bikes and equipment were gone, but Sanji's dream was not. And even after uh, we were getting all the uh, flooded equipment out the shop, he had called me and said, Scott, I, I didn't throw you a wheelchair away, I saved everything. So it's a little sentimental for me to help him out, you know. Fast forward to present day, and the team is back together. With the help of North Shore Customs, their latest project is called the Who Dat Cadillac. Designed after a 1958 caddy and inspired by former Saints player Steve Gleason, who's fighting a very public battle with ALS. I didn't know who it was going to be for until Steve until Steve came out with his diagnosis, then I knew exactly who the chair was for and what was it about. Now the goal of the Houdat Cadillac is simple. It's simply to have fun. And I can tell you, I've been driving this thing around for quite some time today, and it will definitely put a smile on your face. Hopefully he can use it. I would enjoy him immensely to be able to drive it around and enjoy it with his son and family. Um, if not, I think he can fetch a lot of money for his foundation. It's his chair, he can do whatever he wants with it. A wheelchair unlike any other, built by a man who refused to allow Mother Nature or his limited mobility to limit his imagination.